Hi guys, welcome to a new Trig Master video and today, by the time so you probably guessed, we are going to be talking about the dreaded coronavirus. Not something to laugh about, but you know, I just thought we make it a bit positive. Um, so, unless you've been living under a rock, you will know what the coronavirus is. It's a flu-like virus. It's been affecting millions of people around the world, millions, thousands of people around the world, uh, especially the elderly, which are being affected the most. They are dying. And yeah, I just think the world's gone into meltdown. <laughs> um, you know, people are going crazy in shops. You know, there are shelves empty. I know in the UK they're going crazy, like someone got mugged for their new roll. Don't know what that's about. Maybe he was looking to mug this guy and he was like, I need a reason for this, so I'll just mug him for his toilet roll. <laughs> I'm not sure. But, um, uh, I mean, I live in Spain and it's not as bad as that. Um, but, you know, there are some shelves empty. And talking about living in Spain, um, talking about living in Spain, um, the government announced a couple of days ago that. that uh, we will not be allowed to leave our house for um, uh, two weeks, two weeks, uh, unless it's for food or medicine, whether that be for animals or for humans. So that means that this little guy, which has just left us for some reason, Trig, 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 what's he saying? Come here. Good boy. <laughs> This, um, this little guy will not be allowed to go for walkies, but that's okay because we have an extremely large garden which he will be messing around in a lot. Um, but all is well, he shall be fine, won't you? You will be fine, yes you will. Um, uh, but yeah, so they've shut down a lot of places here in Spain. Um, uh, they, uh, so for example, anywhere that's for entertainment, so um, like nightclubs, uh, theatre, uh, like my dance school has been shut. Um, anywhere. Um, anywhere that's not actually uh, useful has been shut down, so um, other than like the butchers, uh, bakeries and uh, uh, supermarkets like Carrefour and things like that have not been shut down, but restaurants and anything like that have been because you know it's a cluster of people whereas these places are just you go and grab it and you leave. Um, so that's what's been happening here. Uh, please leave in the comments what uh, has been happening wherever you are. Um, because, you know, I, I, I don't really get news other than for here and for England. So if you have any news about what is happening in your country, um, that would be good to know. Um, and I also want to talk about safety for these little guys. Yes, you. Um, because I know that dogs cannot actually contract the virus, so they can't actually get it and it affect them. But I know that they can carry it. So if you're in a country that is not in lockdown, like us, um, when you're going for a walk, just be a little bit careful, you know, stay away from people. Um, if, a, if another dog has actually got it on its fur or on its face, you know, and your dog goes and sniffs it, your dog will hand out and have it on him and that can get onto you. Um, also, uh, the virus can survive on metal and ground uh, for 24 hours. So if you're walking your dog and then he sniffs it, um, uh, it will get on him and then it can get on you. So once you've done your walk and you come home, just, just maybe just wash their face and their body and maybe their paws. Because, um, you know, if, they've, if someone sneezed, and who has it and it's gone on the floor they can walk on it so just you know try and keep them clean and um that's just a just a way of um keeping you and your animal safe you know because if, if 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 you get ill then your dogs 
well, if you get ill, you know, you're going to go, you're going to have to either self-isolate or go to hospital, which means your dog's going to have to be taken somewhere. Or if you have to self-isolate, you know, your dog can't go out for the week, can't go out for wheeze, can't go out for walks, if obviously you're in a country that's not in lockdown. Yeah. Um, now, for some positivity, because there's been a lot of negativity, which I don't like, because dogs are positive, dogs are happy, dogs are my life. So, some positivity. Um, my brother, which I have three, it's five, I don't have five, I have three, um, uh, has got a cat. Now, I know this is not a cat channel, this is a dog channel, but I just thought I'd mention it to bring you cat lovers some positivity. Although, you probably won't come to this channel because you're dog lovers. But it doesn't matter, he's got a cat. His name is Eric, and I will show you an adorable picture of him. He is here. This is the adorable picture of Eric. There he is. He's a little, little, tiny little kitten. He's a cute little kitten. Uh, his name's Eric. He's four weeks. I believe he's four weeks old. Um, so he's still pretty young. He's an extremely good boy. Uh, sorry, that sounds very weird because, you know, you usually say, God, dog's good boy. It's a good boy. Um, so it sounds a bit weird saying about cat, but you can say it to a cat, obviously. Um, he, he's a really good cat, and and he's kind of growing on me, I guess. Uh, if I'm honest, I wasn't ever really a huge fan of cats beforehand, and I'm obsessed with dogs. I mean, if you can see from the camera my bedspread, it's like millions of tiny dogs <laughs> and my pillow. And this little guy here. Um, but, you know, having someone that I love as a brother and him having a cat and him loving the cat, it kind of makes me at first have to love the cat or have to at least like it. Um, but slowly it just sort of grows on me. I kind of like him now. Um, so, um, so, yeah. And also, I thought that if that didn't cheer you up, little cats being given healthy and happy lives. Um, I thought that at the end of this video, I will show you some adorable pictures of this little guy from when he was a puppy and from when he was now, just to bring a little positivity to um, the lives of people who are probably extremely worried and possibly even ill um, with the, the virus. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the photos. photos um and i hope they brightened up your day um please like subscribe sub <laughs> please like subscribe share and comment below about what dog you have uh, and about what 
state your country is in at the moment due to this coronavirus and uh, please stay safe. Bye!